Yeah, I think there's actually parallels between Steve Borthwick taking over England and Andy Farrell taking over Ireland in that, you know, we spoke so much about, you know, what happened in 2019. But one of the, the, the most positive things to come out of that in terms of the succession planning with Andy Farrell taking over was that he had a front row seat to see what went wrong. He was yeah. alongside Joe Schmidt. Now, albeit he was part of the coaching staff, but similarly, Steve Borthwick was in the Eddie Jones setup. He saw probably how intense it was, why it wasn't working. So now he goes in there and maybe he releases the pressure valve in a similar way, similar way that Andy Farrell did. And we've seen the results of that for Ireland. And like I said, when you have the talent to, to pick from that England do, they expect. And they've got a decent World Cup draw as well. And that will play into their the way they're building too because you know I think similarly that as Wales would they say they're well they probably are going for a Six Nations title but I don't think you know the public as long as there's kind of positive side strides being made and let's face it England are starting from a pretty low base from, yeah. from what happened last year so that shouldn't be too difficult to do and then once the World Cup comes around they should be in a much much better position